Well, looky here. Um, I've switched tactics, and I have gone to sprouting and microgreens. Look at those mung bean sprouts. Look at them. Aren't they just gorgeous? They still have some shells on them, which can be easily just knocked off real quick here. We'll look at them. Gorgeous. <sighs> look at that. No media. Just mung beans. And the yield is incredible. And I'll explain the methods as I go along here. I'm going to make several videos here. I've got wheatgrass, no media, just wheatgrass growing up. Look at that. These guys I just put out to green up yesterday. In other words, I took them out of the dark and put them in the ambient light from my window. These guys, I put media, and then I realized I don't have to have media. It wasn't growing all the way to the edge of the media, look at that. But we are getting yields from this beautiful wheatgrass. And it's awesome. My new setup is a um, commercial bun rack. There's the, the caps off of the bung beans. That was the cover. And I had a board on it to press it down to keep it from going. But yeah, I'm growing this in my closet with the window. In order to keep the sprouts dark, I'm using, believe it or not, a raincoat wrapped around the base and a I had a blanket that's waterproof on one side like a stadium blanket it's fleece on one side and a nice material to just wrap around the rack to keep the bottom part dark so I can use as many cafeteria trays as I can this is lettuce I had a little accident and dropped that little boy. This is corn, or popcorn. It's starting to brood out. Look at that. It won't be long now. And somewhere in here, I have some lettuces. A mixed salad. Son of a beeswax, I just dropped it. Damn it. There's mixed lettuces. Alright guys, I'll be back in a minute. This is the one I just dropped. Yes, the media came out of the thing, but it's rooted already. So, well, most of it is. You can see I've got a couple of babies that were on the edge there that probably won't make it. But, look at that growth. So. <sighs> yeah, it's a little exasperating. But yeah, commercial bun rack with cafeteria trays. They almost fit. Not quite. Um, you just have to be careful. Because sometimes they'll do that. Just get them centered. And they'll be fine. I was actually thinking about taking some three-quarter round and putting it on the rails. To... Um, keep them in their level. I use these old picnic trays that my mother got for dinner trays oh, I don't know, a long time ago um, for the mung beans because it has a greater um, I can pull it in and out easier. Let's see. You already saw the wheat grass is growing and you saw that I've got a bunch more down below that are doing their thing, and um, this is where I'm going, this is where I'm heading, because I'm getting yields. 
The other reason why I'm going to microgreens and sprouts is because the research that I did, there's more nutritional value in the sprouts. Yes. And you don't have to wait 60 to 90 days or, you know, 50 to 70 days for a hydroponic crop with all those variables outdoors. I had so many problems with getting the pH right. So many problems getting the um, nutrients worked up. And this, my friends, is what I call good eating. We're going to put this in salads. Look at that. Beautiful. And they're firm and lovely. Oh. Um, I'm doing a inoculant spray, nutritional spray, and that I got from Brent. I will put the link down below. It consists of, or his consists of, um, drops of Dawn soap. I know, it sounds horrible. Dawn soap and oregano oil. The oregano oil is a natural antifungal and antibacterial and the only way you can keep it in the water from uh, in, in the water instead of floating on the top and making an oily mess is to use the Dawn soap as a, an emulsifier. Um, and he uses potassium bicarbonate. I use potassium carbonate or 202020 20 nutritional concentrate um, which is um, it, it's kind of like miracle grow but it's it's got 20% 20% 20% you know uh, NPK and um, I take a cup to a gallon and make a concentrate and I only put half a teaspoon in my grow sprayer and my dip water um, so yeah I'm using a nutrient with this the germination process um, they say that there's plenty of nutrition in the seed um, that's great, but once the seedling starts to go, I need it to grow. I need it to grow fast because I'm not doing a long process growth anymore. I'm doing a short process growth. So here it is, guys. Switching to sprouts and microgreens. And we haven't, we haven't eaten better since gosh knows when. And I can have crops within two weeks. This only took about five days. This growth right here. Five days. This. Isn't it beautiful? Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful roots. It actually comes up like a carpet. Look at that. So when we go to bag it comes up like a carpet. Beautiful roots. So, there we are, folks. Enjoy!